Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. Today we're completing day 20 of Try Hack Me Advent of the Cyber Challenge. This is a 25 day challenge. We have five more days to go. And as you can see here, our main goal for the day is to be able to identify files regardless of the type extension that is given to them. Then we also use strings to see the contents of a file. And then we'll calculate MD5 hashes and use virus total to search for files. It says here, open the test, open the terminal and navigate to the file on the desktop. So launch the machine. And once we launch the machine, we need to open the terminal. All right. So we need to go to the desktop. So here's a test file here. Use the strings command to check the contents of the file. What is in the output? So just type strings test file. And here we go. So this one doesn't have a lot. Check the file type test file using the file command. What type of file is this? It's file test file. So here is the name for it. All right, calculate the hash and upload test it to virus total. So MD5 sum test file. So here is the hash for test file. We can use this to check virus total to see if this file has been seen. And us usually what happens is the hash doesn't change unless if the malicious people are changing the hash all the time. This one is a malicious file, as you can see, it's all over the place. When was the file first seen in the wild? So they want a date here. Uh, is it in the detail? First seen in 2005. On virus turtles detection tab, what is the classification assigned to this by Microsoft? So we'll look for Microsoft. Microsoft classified it as this here. Go to this link to learn more about this file. So we have to read all this. All right, so right here it says the file used to be named this or that. The file is 68 characters. What is the maximum number of total characters that can be in the file? All right, so going back here, we saw when I was reading that the total length cannot exceed 128. So that's the answer here. All right, so that was day 20 of Advent of the Cyber, just teaching us how to interact with files, especially if they don't have any extensions. I think this is really great material. And please remember to like and subscribe. Help me to reach 30,000 subscribers very soon. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.